Hey everyone, David here, TexasHornsFans.com. We got video number four, I believe, in our 2020 position uh, previews and outlooks. We're looking at the linebackers in this video, the uh, the LBs. Uh, definitely let me know what your thoughts are on this uh, position group. Uh, drop them in the comments and let me know kind of what you're projecting, um, who you kind of expect to uh, maybe step up in this group. Uh, also, definitely don't forget to subscribe and, and share this out. So this group, to me, I think is more, more probably the most intriguing group, just because I don't really know what to expect from these guys as a as a full unit. Um, I definitely think we know what to expect from Joseph Osai, who really stepped up last year to be uh, to be the new leader of the defense and um, if you watch the defensive line video uh, that that uploaded already you'll notice that uh, Osai was not part of the defensive line group his jack position is really gonna be that hybrid defensive end linebacker position who's really main role is going to be to just disrupt things, right? To be a blitzer, uh, set the edge, um, sort of chaos creator, right? Um, he, he's, he's going to, he's going to be the one to get in there and, and really just, just wreak havoc. So, um, have him, I, I have him included here, uh, in the linebacker group. So, you know, could we see him plenty of times, lining up on the line of scrimmage, um, you know, maybe with his hand in the ground. Sure, absolutely. Um, we're also going to see him uh, line up off the line of scrimmage. You know, so he's kind of that wild card type of, type of position, but, you know, obviously is the key to this defense and, is, and, and obviously is, is, the, uh, is the leader for this group. So... You know, I, I, I think that's what we can expect uh, from him. Looking back at some stats from last year, um, he totaled 90 tackles, 13 and, a half sack, 13 and a half tackles for loss, and five sacks. Really, really was just an absolute beast uh, in the bowl game against Utah. Uh, nine total tackles, six tackles for loss, and three sacks. So, in, in, by all accounts, the way the defense was run in the Utah game was really supposed to be kind of indicative of, of, of what this defense under Chris Ash is, is probably going to be like, especially how uh, he's going to use Osai. So, you know, obviously, you know, preseason, uh, Big 12 pick, um, so a, a lot expected from him, um, a, a lot on his shoulders. And then, you know, obviously losing um, a couple of other leaders, uh, especially Brandon Jones, losing him on defense. Osai really steps up in his junior season to be the leader. So here are my kind of projections at, um, you know, looking at Osai at, at the jack position. Middle linebacker, I've got Jawan Mitchell um, kind of stepping up there to be the main you know, starter uh, uh, player for at middle linebacker, and then uh, De Demarion Overshone moving from a defensive back role to uh, one of the other uh, outside linebacker uh, roles. So, you know, looking at Mitchell, I think what he showed last year as a transfer uh, to Texas, I think he showed how he can be more of an attacker. And more of a of a run stopper. Hopefully, what we see from the defensive line, um, you know, with the big bodies like Keandre Colburn right there in the middle and Taquan Graham, is these guys allowing Jawan Mitchell to have a lot more one on one battles with running backs, so that he's not being swallowed up uh, by by an offensive lineman. So I think where Juwan Mitchell's strengths lie is in his ability to attack downhill, get into the backfield, disrupt things. I think we saw him 
uh, struggle at times in recognizing passes and kind of getting out of place in sort of that middle of the field uh, pass rush. So hopefully that improves. And then I also think um, we, we could we could see some of um, uh, Adele Odeawe filling into in that in that middle position. Uh, we saw in some last year, uh, made, made some good plays last year, just, you know, somewhat inconsistent as a freshman, so he'll be a sophomore. And then uh, Juwan Mitchell, obviously a, a junior. And, uh, you, you know, Mitchell kind of having some off-field, you know, issues with potentially transferring, deciding to stay. So, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see how that plays out over, over the course of the season. And then uh, Overshone. You know, obviously coming in as more of a more of a speed athletic type of linebacker, which in this conference, that's what we're seeing. That's what you need in the Big 12. You need speed on, on defense. You know, the, the old school days of the bigger linebackers, the more physical guys, um, those type of linebackers are, are, are kind of going away. And I, I think Overshone moving from a defensive back role where he was a big defensive back anyway. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see what his athleticism and speed uh, brings to that uh, to that other linebacker position. And, you know, how how well w- will he be able to to cover the passing game? Um, and, and maybe kind of looking at him also as kind of a kind of a hybrid uh, defensive back linebacker. And then some of the other reserves I had here, you know, kind of as reminders too. Debbie Gabenda uh, will be a redshirt freshman, uh, Byron Vaughn, sophomore. And then don't forget about Prince Deborah, the true freshman, um, another one of the big uh, signs on defense, along with Alfred Collins, um, who will be will be kind of one of the one of the defensive ends slash tackles. But um you know, uh, we absolutely could see uh, a, a good amount of, of Prince Deborah, just, you know, of, of how things shake out. Um, where we might see him, uh, I, I would project that if we see him at all, we'll see him kind of rotating with Overshone. Um, don't really don't really see Deborah as, as more of a, a middle linebacker. Could be wrong about that, but, but we'll see. And then remember Marcus Tillman, too. Um, he projects to be a, a redshirt freshman. Uh, this year. So a lot of youth there, um, you know, no seniors listed there, which is pretty interesting, which goes back to my, my first point of being a really intriguing position group because I, I, I really just don't know what to expect from this group as a whole, especially being with the new defense, new defensive coordinator. Um, but of of the entire defense, I think if we had to pick one guy that we that we do know what to expect from it's it's Osai. So from an individual standpoint, yes, but from a group standpoint, um, I, I, I really think the linebacker group is is kind of up in the air. So those are my thoughts, guys. Uh, drop yours below. Let me know your projected starters and also who do you see kind of uh, kind of rotating uh, in and out with this group. How do you see Chris Ash using this group? What do you expect from Osai? And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Check out our next video. We're trying to do about two a week. We're going to go position by position. Um, The next video, we're going to go back to the offense and look at uh, quarterbacks. So don't forget to share it out. Check us out on Facebook, uh, on our Facebook page. Uh, We have over 57,000 Longhorns fans on the page. Link in the description and then on the website, texashornsfans.com. See you later.